Welcome to day 226 of our one-year Bible reading plan. Today we'll read Jeremiah 33 through 36. Before you begin, remember that it helps to establish a daily reading time. Begin with a short prayer, asking the Holy Spirit for wisdom and understanding. Always read for understanding and to hear from God, not just to finish today's reading. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to bless someone else. Now let's begin. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 1. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the word of the Lord came to him a second time. This is what the Lord says, He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says about the houses in this city and the royal palaces of Judah that have been torn down to be used against the siege ramps and the sword in the fight with the Babylonians. They will be filled with the dead bodies of the people I will slay in my anger and wrath. I will hide my face from this city because of all its wickedness. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. I will cleanse them from all the sin they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. Then this city will bring me renown, joy, praise and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Verse 10. This is what the Lord says. You say about this place, it is a desolate waste without people or animals. Yet in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem that are deserted, inhabited by neither people nor animals, there will be heard once more the sounds of joy and gladness, the voices of bride and bridegroom, and the voices of those who bring thank offerings to the house of the Lord, saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good. His love endures forever, for I will restore the fortunes of the land as they were before, says the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says, in this place, desolate and without people or animals, in all its towns there will again be pastures for shepherds to rest their flocks, in the towns of the hill country, of the western foothills and of the Negev, in the territory of Benjamin, in the villages around Jerusalem and in the towns of Judah, flocks will again pass under the hand of the one who counts them, says the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. In those days and at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called, the Lord our righteous savior. For this is what the Lord says, David will never fail to have a man to sit on the throne of Israel nor will the Levitical priests ever fail to have a man to stand before me continually to offer burnt offerings, to burn grain offerings, and to present sacrifices. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Verse 20. This is what the Lord says. If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that day and night no longer come at their appointed time, then my covenant with David my servant and my covenant with the Levites who are priests ministering before me can be broken and David will no longer have a descendant to reign on his throne. I will make the descendants of David my servant, and the Levites, who minister before me as countless as the stars in the sky, and as measureless as the sand on the seashore. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Have you not noticed that these people are saying, the Lord has rejected the two kingdoms he chose? So they despise my people, and no longer regard them as a nation. This is what the Lord says. If I have not made my covenant with day and night and established the laws of heaven and earth, then I will reject the descendants of Jacob and David my servant and will not choose one of his sons to rule over the descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. For I will restore their fortunes and have compassion on them. Jeremiah chapter 34 verse 1 while Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army and all the kingdoms and peoples in the empire he ruled were fighting against Jerusalem and all its surrounding towns, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, go to Zedekiah king of Judah and tell him, 
This is what the Lord says. I am about to give this city into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he will burn it down. You will not escape from his grasp, but will surely be captured and given into his hands. You will see the king of Babylon with your own eyes, and he will speak with you face to face, and you will go to Babylon. Yet hear the Lord's promise to you, Zedekiah king of Judah. This is what the Lord says concerning you. You will not die by the sword, you will die peacefully. As people made a funeral fire in honor of your predecessors, the kings who ruled before you, so they will make a fire in your honor and lament, Alas, master, I myself make this promise, declares the Lord. Then Jeremiah the prophet told all this to Zedekiah king of Judah in Jerusalem, while the army of the king of Babylon was fighting against Jerusalem and the other cities of Judah that were still holding out, Lachish and Azekah. These were the only fortified cities left in Judah. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. After King Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people in Jerusalem to proclaim freedom for the slaves, everyone was to free their Hebrew slaves, both male and female. No one was to hold a fellow Hebrew in bondage. Verse 10. So all the officials and people who entered into this covenant agreed that they would free their male and female slaves and no longer hold them in bondage. They agreed and set them free. But afterward, they changed their minds and took back the slaves they had freed and enslaved them again. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, I made a covenant with your ancestors when I brought them out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I said every seventh year each of you must free any fellow Hebrews who have sold themselves to you. After they have served you six years, you must let them go free. Your ancestors, however, did not listen to me or pay attention to me. Recently you repented and did what is right in my sight. Each of you proclaimed freedom to your own people. You even made a covenant before me in the house that bears my name. But now you have turned around and profaned my name. Each of you has taken back the male and female slaves you had set free to go where they wished. You have forced them to become your slaves again. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. You have not obeyed me. You have not proclaimed freedom to your own people. So I now proclaim freedom for you, declares the Lord, freedom to fall by the sword, plague and famine. I will make you abhorrent to all the kingdoms of the earth. Those who have violated my covenant and have not fulfilled the terms of the covenant they made before me, I will treat like the calf they cut in two and then walked between its pieces. The leaders of Judah and Jerusalem, the court officials, the priests and all the people of the land who walked between the pieces of the calf. Verse 20. I will deliver into the hands of their enemies who want to kill them. Their dead bodies will become food for the birds and the wild animals. I will deliver Zedekiah king of Judah and his officials into the hands of their enemies who want to kill them. To the army of the king of Babylon, which has withdrawn from you. I am going to give the order, declares the Lord, and I will bring them back to this city. They will fight against it, take it, and burn it down and I will lay waste the towns of Judah so no one can live there. Jeremiah chapter 35 verse 1. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord during the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah. Go to the Rechabite family and invite them to come to one of the side rooms of the house of the Lord and give them wine to drink. So I went to get Jazaniah, son of Jeremiah, the son of Habazaniah, and his brothers and all his sons, the whole family of the Rechabites, I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the room of the sons of Hanan, son of Igdaliah, the man of God. It was next to the room of the officials, which was over that of Messiah, son of Shalom, the doorkeeper. Then I set bowls full of wine and some cups before the Rechabites and said to them, drink some wine. But they replied, we do not drink wine because our forefather Jehonadab, son of Rechab, gave us this command. Neither you nor your descendants must ever drink wine. Also, you must never build houses, sow seed or plant vineyards. You must never have any of these things, but must always live in tents. Then you will live a long time in the land where you are nomads. We have obeyed everything our forefather Jehonadab son of Rechab commanded us. Neither we nor our wives nor our sons and daughters have ever drunk wine or built houses to live in, or had vineyards, fields or crops. Verse 10. We have lived in tents 
and have fully obeyed everything our forefather Jehonadab commanded us. But when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon invaded this land, we said, Come, we must go to Jerusalem to escape the Babylonian and Aramean armies. So we have remained in Jerusalem. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, Go and tell the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, Will you not learn a lesson and obey my words? declares the Lord. Jehonadab, son of Rechab, ordered his descendants not to drink wine, and this command has been kept. To this day they do not drink wine, because they obey their forefather's command. But I have spoken to you again and again, yet you have not obeyed me. Again and again I sent all my servants the prophets to you. They said, Each of you must turn from your wicked ways and reform your actions. Do not follow other gods to serve them. Then you will live in the land I have given to you and your ancestors. But you have not paid attention or listened to me. The descendants of Jehonadab, son of Rechab, have carried out the command their forefather gave them. But these people have not obeyed me. Therefore, this is what the Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Listen, I am going to bring on Judah and on everyone living in Jerusalem every disaster I pronounced against them. I spoke to them, but they did not listen. I called to them but they did not answer. Then Jeremiah said to the family of the Rechabites, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. You have obeyed the command of your forefather Jehonadab, and have followed all his instructions, and have done everything he ordered. Therefore this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Jehonadab, son of Rechab, will never fail to have a descendant to serve me. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 1 In the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Take a scroll and write on it all the words I have spoken to you concerning Israel, Judah, and all the other nations from the time I began speaking to you in the reign of Josiah till now. Perhaps when the people of Judah hear about every disaster I plan to inflict on them, they will each turn from their wicked ways then I will forgive their wickedness and their sin. So Jeremiah called Baruch son of Neriah, and while Jeremiah dictated all the words the Lord had spoken to him, Baruch wrote them on the scroll. Then Jeremiah told Baruch, I am restricted. I am not allowed to go to the Lord's temple. So you go to the house of the Lord on a day of fasting and read to the people from the scroll the words of the Lord that you wrote as I dictated. Read them to all the people of Judah who come in from their towns. Perhaps they will bring their petition before the Lord and will each turn from their wicked ways. For the anger and wrath pronounced against this people by the Lord are great. Baruch son of Neriah did everything Jeremiah the prophet told him to do. At the Lord's temple he read the words of the Lord from the scroll. In the ninth month of the fifth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah king of Judah, a time of fasting before the Lord was proclaimed for all the people in Jerusalem and those who had come from the towns of Judah. Verse 10. From the room of Gemariah son of Shaphan the secretary, which was in the upper courtyard at the entrance of the new gate of the temple, Baruch read to all the people at the Lord's temple the words of Jeremiah from the scroll. When Micaiah son of Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, heard all the words of the Lord from the scroll, he went down to the secretary's room in the royal palace, where all the officials were sitting. Elishama the secretary, Deliah son of Shemaiah, Elnathan son of Akbor, Jemariah son of Shaphan, Zedekiah son of Hananiah, and all the other officials. After Micaiah told them everything he had heard Baruch read to the people from the scroll, all the officials sent Jehudi son of Nethaniah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Cushi, to say to Baruch, Bring the scroll from which you have read to the people and come. So Baruch son of Neriah went to them with the scroll in his hand. They said to him, Sit down, please, and read it to us. So Baruch read it to them. When they heard all these words, they looked at each other in fear and said to Baruch, We must report all these words to the king. Then they asked Baruch, Tell us, how did you come to write all this? Did Jeremiah dictate it? Yes, Baruch replied. He dictated all these words to me, and I wrote them in ink on the scroll. Then the official said to Baruch, You and Jeremiah go and hide. Don't let anyone know where you are. Verse 20. After they put the scroll in the room of Elishama the secretary, they went to the king in the courtyard 
and reported everything to him. The king sent Jehudi to get the scroll, and Jehudi brought it from the room of Elishama the secretary and read it to the king and all the officials standing beside him. It was the ninth month, and the king was sitting in the winter apartment, with a fire burning in the fire pot in front of him. Whenever Jehudi had read three or four columns of the scroll, the king cut them off with a scribe's knife and threw them into the fire pot until the entire scroll was burned in the fire. The king and all his attendants who heard all these words showed no fear, nor did they tear their clothes. Even though Elnathan, Deliah and Jemariah urged the king not to burn the scroll, he would not listen to them. Instead, the king commanded, Jeremiel, a son of the king, Sariah, son of Azrael, and Shelemiah, son of Abdeel, to arrest Baruch the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet. But the Lord had hidden them. After the king burned the scroll containing the words that Baruch had written at Jeremiah's dictation, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Take another scroll and write on it all the words that were on the first scroll, which Jehoiakim king of Judah burned up. Also, tell Jehoiakim king of Judah, this is what the Lord says. You burned that scroll and said, why did you write on it that the king of Babylon would certainly come and destroy this land and wipe from it both man and beast? Verse 30. Therefore this is what the Lord says about Jehoiakim king of Judah. He will have no one to sit on the throne of David. His body will be thrown out and exposed to the heat by day and the frost by night. I will punish him and his children and his attendants for their wickedness. I will bring on them and those living in Jerusalem and the people of Judah every disaster I pronounced against them, because they have not listened. So Jeremiah took another scroll and gave it to the scribe Baruch son of Neriah, and as Jeremiah dictated, Baruch wrote on it all the words of the scroll that Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire, and many similar words were added to them. This concludes Jeremiah 33 through 36. For day 226, we hope you are enjoying these daily videos. Remember to check the description box for links and resources. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Your support helps spread God's word to reach more people on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video for our day 227 reading.